All right, so I got a really awesome package today from all the way over in Poland, I believe, is where they're made. And this is from WarhammerArt.com. It's actually officially licensed Warhammer art. But I saw this, and there were a few specific pieces I really wanted to pick up. I opted to go from some of the smaller sizes, just because of space constraints, and I have the idea for a setup, a new setup in my workspace, and anything bigger probably wouldn't fit. Wow, they're even individually boxed. That's awesome. So one, two, three. Alright, I'll do these one at a time, starting with number one. So, I, on WarhammerArt.com you can choose, they're all limited, but you can choose the way they're made. So if you wanted it to be a framed print, or a canvas, or... There we go. So it looks like they double boxed them, which is nice, saving some space, but there we go. Signed Certificate of Authenticity from Games Workshop and the Warhammer Company, and the number. And you can see the packaging is great. I opted for aluminum prints instead of uh, regular prints, just because I like the look of them. And then you don't have to worry about getting them framed. So. Makes it easier. And you can see this packaging is awesome. I took the time to do this nice foam corners. And they even included some mounting screws in there for you to hang it on the wall. Which is a really nice touch. Normally pack this much packaging is annoying, but not with something like this. Because depending on the size you order, these can get pretty pricey. Another reason I opted for the smallest size. I'm probably just going to unbox the first one like this, so you don't have to watch me open every single one like this. Right, take these screws, I might need these later. Throw that over there. Alright, there they are. Individually wrapped. Alright. There we go. There's one of them. That one is my is called the route. It's got a lot of space wolves. That's actually very nice. Surprise. A little darker than I hoped. Colors looked a little more vibrant on the website. But not bad. It looks like it is a regular print with a glass front and then an aluminum backing. That's interesting. So it's not printed directly on aluminum like I've seen some art prints done. It is still paper, but it looks like they did a nice print and then it is signed on the paper underneath the glass, which is awesome. So that's the route. And here, while I've got it here, I will do the Emperor's Palace also. Now, I, I've, since I've seen this artwork, it looks as a landscape. It just I've seen this as a just regular art print on paper, but that just looks gorgeous. And then, like I said, you, then you don't have to get it framed. And then on the back, you've got specific brackets for mounting, 
And these aren't too heavy, so you don't have to worry about hurting your walls. All right, now I'm gonna go quickly to the rest of them and then show you them one at a time. And there they all are. Seven prints from Warhammer Art. These were my favorites. I got the Imperial Knight one from the original Codex because that is the first kit I ever painted. Of course, the Battle Sister because I love Sisters of Battle. Asphodex over there. Imperial Knight and the Lady. The Route. Imperial Palace. And then, I forget when that one's called, Reliquary or something like that. But these are all up on WarhammerArt.com, so go check them out. And there are a ton more where that came from. Alright, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.